Had it not been for a tourist from Arizona who snapped this photo with her cell phone, Officer Lawrence DePrimo's active kindness giving boots to a homeless man may have gone unnoticed. Tourist Jennifer Foster emailed the photo to the NYPD. They posted it to their Facebook page. Tens of thousands of comments followed, like this one. In a time when our hearts are in despair and we are bombarded with bad news, it is the human spirit and acts of kindness who really define who we are. God bless. Are you surprised by all the attention? Uh, absolutely. I didn't know this was going to be uh, such a big deal. The 25-year-old officer was on patrol in Times Square on a cold night just over two weeks ago when he saw the homeless man with bare feet. You could see the blisters were about the size of my hands and my heart just went out to this man. Like, I didn't think anything of it. I just went towards him, asked him if he wanted uh, a pair of socks, and he said no, but thank you, and God bless you for asking. And that I found amazing because, you know, he, he doesn't even have a pair of socks to his name, and he has the heart to say God bless me. And it was absolutely, it was just inspiring. Officer DePrimo went to this Skechers to get the man boots and had to run back out to ask him his size. He was a 12. We offered him this one. Only. Manager Jose Cano offered his employee discount to the officer. We realized, you know, this is a cop on the beat, you know, he's, he's just passing by and it just, it came naturally for us to try to want to help, make the best uh, out of the situation. Officer DePrimo never found out the name of the man he helped, but he remembers his reaction. He looked me right in the face and the smile just went from ear to ear. And again, he said, God bless me. And he said, you know, be safe. And I just couldn't believe it was coming out of his mouth. You know, it's just for such a, a small gesture, you know, he was so appreciative. The officer says he keeps the receipt in his bulletproof vest as a reminder of those less fortunate. With all this attention, what do you hope comes out of it? If it pushes somebody else to go out and do another kind act towards 